I mean, yeah. you look at some of the lowest uh, Dow uh, figures we've had since 97, mm -hmm. and then uh, other th companies that uh, are posting all-time lows, mm -hmm. you know, big companies, not just... Uh, but you know, the Dow Jones goes up when unemployment goes up. Like, ba uh, the country hurting are indicators to buy and stuff, yeah. so it's like... It's not, not this really time, an no. accurate measure of like how most people's lives are going. It's like oh, if the yeah, Dow yeah. goes down, that just means who fucking can buy stock? I mean, out of like real people in the real world. Yeah. Who can really fucking invest well, in stock? Th I, I think what you're supposed to do, like what, what you're told you're supposed to do yeah. when you get a job is tuck some money away and uh, save it. That's right. like phase one. You get a job. Well, that's the uh, thing is that Americans money. are saving more money now. Like American savings accounts, yeah. are higher than so ever. Petrified to put right it in now. anything else. But that's good. That's that's good. It's like things have been so fucked up for so long. Just exploding credit. Yeah, people having shit they can't even come close to actually like affording to have, and not putting any money in the bank and just living yep. for the for the retarded moment. Check to check. You know, just you know, fucking from your, your ATM card, you de get the money out and stick it right in your asshole and just shoot <laughs> jizz all over your fucking <laughs> stomach. Like, just constant flow. Yeah. And now people are going, well, maybe I save, maybe I buy things I need. And that makes the Dow go down because people it aren't really just is, being yeah. stupid. So that's good. It was too high. The Dow was too fucking high. Can, can Twelve thousand was fucking crazy. high. Too <laughs> fucking <laughs> high. I was talking. To, I was talking to my financial yeah. guy. Yeah. And he actually said, and I didn't want to hear this. He goes, "Well, you know, you got that safe in your apartment. I would suggest you put money in it." I'm like, "Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's what your buddy says oh at, at the bar, not your financial advisor." He's like, "I would suggest you put a few uh, dollars in that safe." Yeah. How they get? I know you're hearing that's stuff great. you never heard before. That yeah, person, yeah. right, right, right. That, that talking head with the uh, number scrolling under it that you always uh, turn the sound off on. Yeah. Turn it up, and it's just a woman saying, "And s then melt the gold uh, <laughs> and, and make a calf unto your god." <laughs> yeah. And Carry the calf around and kill a virgin. This is the new recommendation from, uh, you know, Merrill Lynch. Yeah, I've never uh, turned up the volume to say, bury your money in the backyard. Yeah, exactly. you're, you've never Diamonds needed a are an smelter. excellently portable way <laughs> yes. to portable. escape the country. So true, man. Swallow the diamonds inside of a condom. <laughs> it, it, it really has you know, gotten to the point where, uh, yeah, you, you just, should you buy gold and just bury it like yeah. a pirate? But then, see, I'm afraid of doing that because won't gold is so psychological the You're idea a gold that it has guy. i had a i have some gold coins you so were money gold. is Actually, more psychological those gold coins than... that i bought the for like they were like 700 bucks each and it's up to nine yeah. nine ninety an ounce right now there you go but i'm i would never put everything in gold because gold sure. is this idea that it's worth something and tomorrow everyone could say gold <laughs> is but, nothing. but gold has more realism to it than cash that, does yes, it does it's true. like it, it's it's hard yeah. to believe and really Wait. grasp but yeah. Louis makes a good point, though. If the whole world gets together and go, you know what? The same worth shit. The gold should not be worth shit, and no. that'll solve all our problems. Mm -hmm. But and let me the tell diamonds, you diamonds if that happens, are... we're in trouble because our whole our, our money is all based on Fort Knox. Right. So if they, the whole world be. goes, we're in deep trouble. What's that? <laughs> it used to be. It's yeah, not like, anymore like Goldfinger was made. Some, it's oh, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, they took us off the gold standard years ago. Yeah, yeah, right. Long oh, time yeah. ago. <laughs> oh, the gold Jimmy. at Fort Knox is just a, no. <laughs> what if we what if we I'll find a gold at Fort Knox? Okay, 1960s, Jim. What if what if we find a big pit of diamonds and then next thing you know, yeah, but don't you? There's too many diamonds. Don't you know about the diamonds? What? The beers, they actually don't have a, a uh, office in America because they're illegal, because they're such criminals. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Literally, it's human rights. Uh, they're not allowed here. It's just awful. It's not because of that. Their, of their practices, like, economically, they have, there are way more diamonds than there are, like, fucking rocks in your backyard <laughs> in your dry, gravel driveway for real there are way but the de beers company hoards them like they use these like fucking cartels and armies and stuff and warlords really so they they hoard diamonds they have an, a, a massive load of diamonds and they control the price by meeting it out how much they want to and then every time a competitor starts making diamonds they, they kill them they flood the market with diamonds and lower the value of it Wow. And then but the, aren't then, they then so that company beautiful goes and down. sparkly? Yeah, but they're common. They're not a. They're fucking <laughs> common. They are. They're not that. And if the the De Beers company tomorrow could say diamonds are worth fucking mm. starburst fruit juice, well, where so are they based out of those? Yeah, where are they based out of? 
Uh, my mother's cunt. Oh, no. I think. Oh, I don't Jesus. I don't know. Oh, it must I be know. a huge company. You just, you just, <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is, massive. With, with fucking... <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, good ventilation. No, it's about 15 uh, big but, vessels, so, big uh, so uh, the, the main freight, guy. Freight, uh, no, every time you hit a, a gap in my knowledge, I just go to my yeah. mother's cunt. So the main Don't guy that that the main guy for De Beers on his yeah. way out could just say, you know what, I'm gonna fuck everybody. Yeah. Why well, I'm leaving this planet? Who gives a shit? Diamonds aren't worth anything tomorrow. Right. Yeah, That's actually right. I just did some uh, research that says that uh, oh. there's more of a man-made shortage about diamonds than there is a natural one. Uh, the distribution of uh, the number of diamonds put on the market each year is very regulated, and uh, there are enough diamonds. To give each man, woman, and child in the U.S. a whole cupful. Yes, a, cup a whole cupful. A what? Cup full of diamonds. Wow, in two the countries, one cup. <laughs> Three of those ribs, you. What the fuck? I didn't know that. I thought yeah. that was a. I saw a it rare... on 60 Minutes. It's kind of like uh, OPEC. So yeah. you know, no, they take is. the oil and say, "Well, we're just not going to pump m- as much." Out. Except for oil is a resource that's used by the right. by the, yeah, yeah. the, the supply the and demand, my friends. Supply gallons. and demand. Yeah. Diamonds. If you are, they're girl's you were, best friend. I hear. Well, yeah, because girls are cunts and they don't care who dies for their fucking <laughs> sparkles. <laughs> yes, that's I mean, actually yeah. that's actually too long for the slogan, but I like it. <laughs> I like that that's that's little slug line. That's nice. No, that's De Beers. <laughs> yeah, Tiffany. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany <laughs> should <laughs> use that one. <laughs> Tiffany's. Uh, wow, that, that Danny, I learned something today. I had no yeah, idea. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's a horse shit well, thing. Education. Mm-hmm. Can you check where they're based out of, Danny? I, I would love to know. Mention the guy who runs it. Who runs that company? I don't know. It's How a family. How fucking powerful is that? Hitler. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's Ted De Beers. Ted De Beers. <laughs> Ted De Beers. <laughs> <laughs> Just one diamond, I think, though. Yeah, one year. diamond a year, and you got a couple over. of diamonds for every man, woman, and child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a cup made a of diamonds. Diamonds. <laughs> diamond hats. It's a funny diamond visual. Hats. Diamond tires. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> Headquarters are in uh, South I'm Africa. I'm sorry. Ah, I didn't Africa. knew that. Jeez, I, I'm starting to think I should put my money in diamonds. You know. Yeah. No, you like can't. There's nothing safe. There's nothing. nothing. Money isn't a thing. Right. Grow a garden. That's well, all my you financial really advisor do. shouldn't so say you have food put it in it. your safe, though. <laughs> yeah, I was you know what it is, though? Figure something a little they, better than that. No, I was watching. I, I was that. watching one of those financial shows, and they're all talking this round table. Yeah, and they're going, "Well, this is," and they're just knocking down everything. Oh, how about GE? Not so good. And like, <laughs> yeah, they just keep knocking well, them all down. Could and take then a while. Finally, the guy goes to the big expert. What's the thing then? And the guy goes, uh, "Stick it, uh, some cash in your mattress." And everybody laughed, and then went. Huh, Really? He was and serious. He goes, he goes, no, stick cash in your mattress. Like, they weren't kidding. Oh. And they all looked kind of pale as they went to the credits. Like, oh, my God, we actually just said that. We're was real that, advice. And, and We're it was real point. advice. Yeah. The, the, the uh, financial advisor would always tell you, don't put money in the bank when there's low interest because you'll have the money in the bank, but the interest rate will not... Um, outweigh the cost of living increase right. over the years. So you're actually losing money having it in that bank. Well, and and I, I would always sit there and go... And stuff that are offsetting well, any- no, you know what it is, though? If, if you have a lot of money in a, yeah. in a bank account, they have like where you don't pay a fee. Right, right. So I'm sitting there, and, and I couldn't grasp it. I'm going, you know, I understand what you're saying. Like, if I'm making 1% on my money because the interest right. rate's so low. But if I have X amount of dollars in the bank... Yeah. Uh... In a month from now, I'm going to have X amount plus 1%. Not down $18,000 because yeah, yeah, the fucking stock dropped. I don't care if it doesn't outweigh the cost of living. No, exactly. I'll deal with that. I just want to know well, that I'm going to have what... I, I don't need that much. Just tell me I'm going to have what I started here's, with. Remember here's what when, I don't get, though. Like, when money, sorry, when, when, like with inflation, like that idea that you take a truck, like there was a time in our country where you needed a wheelbarrow of money to buy a loaf of bread. That whole, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But, but if those people, those dollar bills that they had in that wheelbarrow, if they held on to them, and yeah, then when things mm-hmm. got good, isn't that now just worth wait a while. Now money? it's worth the that bunch. million dollars you spent on a loaf of bread. <laughs> yeah. Just it, wait. Don't buy the bread with it. Yeah. Steal the off. bread like <laughs> a man. <laughs> I remember Hold our financial. And then you'll have a million dollars. Yes. I remember our financial advisor because and I have the same guy. He he actually bragged to me. He goes, "Well, uh, I'm losing less than the other guys, so that's why you should continue with me."